Oh, everybody turn around and get the sun out of your face. How are you all doing? Welcome back to KWPR. As you all know, I'm Martin. Fort Winter was on its way. Starting to turn cold, getting a bit chilly at night and stuff like that. Leaves start dropping and then bang. You know, back up to 18 degrees again and sunshine and clear skies. Garden don't know whether it's coming and going. Not that I'm complaining. Um, just making life a bit difficult. Um, gardening wise, pond wise. Uh, ready to put all the covers on. As you saw, I've uh, got two covers on, but um, I was going to put the last cover on and then seal up all the sides and everything like I normally do. Um, but I'm not. Feed are still on, going on. Uh, uh, feed are still going off uh, five times a day. Um, plus hand feed, still on the mealworm and uh, black soldier fly larvae, and they're uh, still smashing it. Uh, ran out of this sacky wheat germ at last. Or is it sacky or a curry, whichever way around it is, a curry wheat germ. Um, yeah, a curry wheat germ, sorry, not sacky. A curry wheat germ. Um, still can't get any shogun. Uh, should have been here about three weeks ago, and still not here. So, uh, in desperation, I get some Aquasource uh, Balance 50-50. So, 50% floating, 50% sinking in the same bag which is great, I don't know why other companies don't do that, but um, it's an okay food, I'm not going to slag it down, I'm not going to say it's a rubbish food, I'm not going to say it's a bad food, it's, it's an okay food and the fish are eating it, but does tint the water almost immediately, it does put a sort of like a tea colour in the water, um, almost immediately that does, but yeah, um, leaves on the water, uh, yeah the skimmer's dealing with it, but yeah everybody's doing fine. Uh, flick you around, show you. The only problem this time of year is glare on the water. But, well, air's just come back on because they just had a feed. So I hope it doesn't affect the deal too much. Well, we've just potted some food. <laughs> OB the achiever. And swimming along, notice a bit of a uh, mealworm there. Done 180, and that was a you heard. And down there is Hagrid, who um, was the uh, Andrew Daly Adam Byer Grown Show winner. Uh, for those of you who've seen the video, um, it was done on percentage rates. So anybody who's sort of saying, well, hold on a minute, that's not grown as much as somebody else's. It's done on percentage rates, so you take take the starting size of the fish, turn that into a percentage, um, then take the finished size uh, of the fish, turn that into another percentage, minus one percentage from the other, so, so somehow like that anyway, but yeah. And um, on sort of like growth wise, it, uh, it won by one percent. Um, although initially, initially my, um, I said, even though I sent the entry in within good time, um it, it got missed uh, but but all good now and no complaints um very happy and overall really um on the crash boys and the uh, uh on and on the kahakus they've bring some really good growth out of them heated and unheated and um Hagrid isn't going anywhere, I'm going to keep that because uh, I would really like to see what the development is going to be like in two, three years time on it. Um, yeah, it's a single colour. Uh, it's a single step kahaku. Sorry, I'm just uh, distracted there. It's a single step kahaku. So not everybody's favourite, but I quite like him. And like I said, he's growing really well. And uh, if you can compare it to over there there is a three set but the Benny on Kirsty is a lot oranger than what Hangry's got and um, they do say with Karakus that the older they get the deeper the Benny can get up to a certain point but he's sticking down low because there's uh, sinking food down there and he's first to eat the sinking food might come up later might get him for you but anyway, yeah, I'm tidying up the garden now, trying to keep on top of all the leaves, um, put all the stuff away for uh, winter, all the tables and chairs and everything's got to go away. 
Um, and like I said, the uh, fever I've got turned down. Even though they're still smashing the food, I've really got to sort of like wind it back a bit for them. And I've got to get out of some uh, JPD show then. I don't know, so you can't really pick up the tint on the water while the air's going, but I'll show you again in a little while with the air off so you can get a better look at the fish. In my last video, it was just a toy. Um, and we'll see right at the end there a little bit for Remembrance Sunday. Um, just coming up out of the water, but yeah, everybody's doing well. All hanging over there for some food sport over there. But yeah, I've got a few jobs to do. Uh, sort of, not so much with the pond, like I said, just turn the feeder down, uh, the amount of feed coming out. I think it's on five at the moment, I'll knock it down to one and leave it going for a couple of weeks on feeder, unless the temperature's really dropped. It's supposed to drop, get wet again next week and drop a bit, but I don't think it's been dropped drastically. Anyway, catch up with you guys on a minute. Uh, that last little clip. Um, weather came in really bad absolutely honking it down got too dark and so uh, didn't really do a lot um so week's gone temperatures have absolutely plummeted thanks to have and silly high vis coat uh, one of my old work ones does for pottering about in the garden this time of year um but yeah i think it's time to start closing the pond down now not so much closing it down um, but get the covers on just to uh, save me electricity um, still sat at 17 I'll be dropping it at 16 later on today but before I do all that I shall be changing my water cartridges over um, all I've got is just the little Viair three stage dechlorinator set kit the 10 inch version uh, does the job uh, works really well um, gone for slightly higher uh, quality well more expensive um, filters this year these should give me six months uh, so by air reckon we will see but yeah so taking the old ones out I'll spin you around there's the old ones so that's your, your paper cartridge you yeah, know not too badly discolored but when you consider that's source water drinking water you know that's what comes up through carbon block and um, you can see by the rust on there obviously taking out certain heavy metals definitely yeah, and then you got your activated carbon here it's shaking there so replacement uh, I couldn't get any of the paper ones so I had to go for the spun uh, sediment removers. Never tried one of these before. And you can see it sort of. Uh, so give one of them a go. Uh, the carbon block, slightly higher quality. Uh, KDF and everything in it, it does. Uh, yeah, slightly better quality one. Uh, uh, the carbon this just activated coconut I really wanted the uh, other stuff uh, but you can't get it at the moment um, so that's with coconut shells and sorry KDF in that as well but yeah apparently that combination there they're doing trickling is um, should last six months yeah but like I said we'll see so get them in place uh, run it to waste for about 10 minutes just getting the order dust and stuff like that out that's going all school with um, and we will uh, I'll get back to you when that's all done but like I said shocking shocking the state of uh, those cartridges really when you think that's the stuff that we drink I mean we use a jug filter anyway um, for coffee and tea just to protect the kettle but you know like when you're having orange squash and stuff like that straight out of the tap Makes you wonder what you're putting into your bodies, doesn't it, really? Um, uh, good friend Lo, Lo Magro, the French coin etching, and that lot, uh, she showed her water test that she had done by the Water Authority, and that was a bit scary. Got me thinking, maybe getting some done for myself, but we will see. But anyway, talking about um, water quality and dechlorinators and stuff like that, um, another friend, uh, Stu, um, Surrey Koi, Koi Giza, 
um, keep an eye out on his channel um, he's going to be building his own um, RO unit his recycled RO unit um, hopefully at a lot cheaper price than uh, what it costs to get it done for you so yeah, if you're interested and you think got the skills to do that keep an eye out on his channel uh, you'll be building it bit by bit showing you what bits and bits and pieces you need um, and hopefully how you build it uh, I believe so yeah pop over keep an eye out see how it goes on there right get these cartridges changed I'll see you in a minute that's them in in my little box over here just to keep uh, keep it from freezing so that's my little setup in there uh, not running the water through that but yeah so insulated water pipe coming in through there also protected from the UV uh, in through there got a little flow meter digi flow same as what you got on the uh, recycled RO units uh, that tells me how much I'm putting through uh, the slower the better on these really and down there is my timer because uh, I don't have this running 24-7 um, summer it comes on twice a day winter it comes on once a day uh, runs for a couple of hours and then switches off because I'm on a water meter so that's my little setup hopefully when I do the drum you see it's backing out because it's in down here behind the tree uh, limited for space hopefully when I do the drum which will be going under there that's pointing um, I can make this box here bigger because uh, my sort of like a control center in there so, uh, sort of pump controller flow switch box air pumps a bit of storage space at the bottom there but I'll be making that box bigger uh, so I can get the controller in but uh, the Nexus is sat under this section here when the drum goes in, it'll be in this section here, so I'm going to have a bit of space here, so hopefully I can drop that into uh, into where the Nexus is, or somewhere around there, so get rid of that. Like I said, it's a bit awkward in behind the tree there, but we'll see what we see what happens when I get round to it. I know I've had it a bit of time, um, but it's only, like I said, it's uh, purely... Uh, for getting the bits and pieces I need in place and having the time. I'm working 70 million hours a week and uh, always away from home, you know, park up at night. It's not like I come home at night, park up at night, sleep in the lorry, come home Friday night if I'm lucky, eight, nine, ten o'clock. Um, a lot of time just lately though, it's been Saturday, Saturday mid-morning I've been getting in, just, just the job. Do you career path I chose just the way it is uh, so like I said it's having the time but it will be in before um, the season starts next year probably once uh, once we're getting into spring a bit I shall uh, bump the heat up on the air source heat pump so I can get into the water without freezing to death block everything off and get it in but we'll have a look at the fish as you can see everybody's doing well not a problem, got a few leaves on the bottom there. Hopefully when I clean the filters in a minute and start purging the bottom drain, it'll suck them in. They're all stuck around the edge of the bottom drain at the moment. Because um, I ain't got my full covers on, like I said, I've only got the two. But the I'll be taking the feeder off in a minute, putting the last cover on. Um, and then I may put the feeder back into place and leave the feeding hatch open. Uh, maybe drape something over it just to uh, hold the heat in temporarily uh, until I'm ready to turn the feeder off. Like I said, they're still pretty active, still looking for food. As you can see, greedy little buggers. I know what they want. I want a bit of mealworm. Hold on. So, yeah, got some mealworm. They're not, they're eating the aqua sauce food, but they're not enjoying it. Um, but hey ho, such is life. 
Pancho show has just disappeared underneath these covers there. He's uh, moving on. Uh, still got Hero the Shiro uh, to move on. He's just gone under the covers as well, so I can't show him. I'll just wait for him to come back and all following the food under. There's Hero over there. Um, he's up for grabs. 55 cm. Uh, good body. Um, Pattern's not too bad on him. Uh, now three, I believe. So not a huge fish. Fish for your old 55 cm. Um, yeah, it's a bit over 60, uh, that's for sure. Uh, can't just show us, like I said, that's got enough going. And um, when they can pick it up. Um, so Hero Shiro is up for grab. Uh, anybody wants it, I'm not looking huge amounts of money. Uh, maybe a tour. Uh, but, you know, it's open to reasonable offer if you want to make me an offer. Uh, bear in mind you've got to come down and collect. And um, also still trying to get rid of uh, the Mobile. I can't remember what size he is. Decent size lengthwise. Skin quality is uh, next to nothing. Um, you can't really tell that they, they've got good coloration. But, uh, one thing about this aqua sauce stuff is it bloody sinks the water like mad. He comes up a bit higher and you see uh, he's really nice flattening colour. And here we go, look. Yeah. Uh, it's just not filling out like I was hoping, so uh, I'm not looking a lot of money for him either. So, um, about 40 notes, I suppose. If anybody wants a, a decent sized fish for about 40 notes. Um, but everybody else after that is staying, and that leaves me room to get um, one possibly two new fish next year that uh, I've been wanting to get. But we will see. Right, I need to uh, get on, get the filters clean before it gets too dark and too cold. Right, right so as you can see, everybody's doing absolutely fine. Um, think about doing the fork on microscope as well. For the pure reason that um, still a lot of people so I sort of like, when I get a chance, I go through the forums, you know, Facebook and stuff like that, and you still see a lot of people sending pictures of their koi in um, saying what's wrong with my koi and people are saying have you done scrapes and they go no I haven't got a microscope people um, you know most of my viewers I mean you know, I expect you've all got uh, microscopes and do it but um, anybody who hasn't um, if you're going to keep koi it is one of them things that you really must have in your arsenal you need a microscope they're not dear I mean Two family takeaways that pay for a microscope, um, you know, the SP Brunel SP22 um, or the uh, uh, Apex Practitioner. Um, they're both about 110, 120 quid. Uh, like I said, and nowadays, two family takeaways, possibly three, you know, you're hitting that money. So, bin your takeaways for a few weeks or, being the time of year it is, put it on your Christmas list and get yourself a nice little microscope for uh, Christmas because they are essential, really, uh, if you're going to be serious about keeping koi or if you love your fish and you don't want them to get ill, you need to know what's going on. Right, I'm going to clean the filters. I'll speak to you in a little while. So, darkness is upon us. But managed to get the cover on after managing to get it out from down the side of the shed down there. That was a feat in its own. Um, not sealed the uh, edges up yet with uh, bubble wrap. Um, the hatch, I don't know if you can see around here in the dark. So the hatch is still up because the feeder is in place. If you can just make it out down there. And still got the feeder in place. The uh, hatch is on a bungee. Um, literally just to keep the uh, wind their source heat pump is now down to 16. There you go, 16 degrees. There's target temperature, uh, and it's sat at 16. So, hopefully it won't be coming on quite so much. 
now. So yeah, I'm in the darkness. I've had enough. Uh, it's getting a bit of light and that lot. It's just that sort of time of year where unfortunately you can't do a lot, I know. Um, but yeah, I've got a few things, like I said, I've got a few things planned. It's uh, just having the time to do it, but I will do one on microscopes. I did one about a year, year and a half ago, um, but now I'm a little bit more confident with my videos. Uh, hopefully I should be able to explain it a bit more. But yeah, I'm going inside. So all of you, look after yourselves. Stay safe. Don't get too cold. Don't get too wet. And remember, this isn't a hobby. It's a lifestyle. Take care. Bye.